my name is Amanda Reyes, and I am the editor and co-author of Are You in the House Alone? A TV Movie Compendium, 1964-1999, and I'm here with my friend. Uh, this is Lance Vaughn from Kinder Trauma, which is a website where we discuss movies that had an impact on our childhoods. And so this is the perfect film, I think, for Kinder Trauma, because I think so many people who are watching this now probably saw this for the first time when they were a kid, and um, I know you did, Lance, didn't you? Yes, definitely. Um, and we got a lot of uh, letters and people writing into Kinder Trauma about this movie. And a lot of times they don't remember the title. They just remember it's the movie with the giant turtle in it. So I always know what the answer for that particular question. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many giant turtle movies. Well, Gamera, I guess, maybe. Um, yeah. But what, you saw this as a kid, didn't you? Yeah, I actually, I, I remember... I, I think I might have seen the 1980 re-showing of it, hmm. now that I think about it. Yeah. Um, I thought it might be Satan's Triangle, which was a movie that really scared me in 1975. So I kind of dared myself to watch it again. I got the titles mixed up, and then I realized it wasn't, wasn't the right movie, but I loved it just as much. It's a really special movie. Yeah, I would say um, it's really special. I didn't actually see it till I was an adult. Um, when I was sort of rediscovering TV movies, I don't know, a little over a decade ago, so many people would bring up this film. And uh, I don't remember it airing um, in 1978 or uh, any of the reruns, which is really strange because I watched a lot of TV movies as a kid. Uh, but as an adult, so it's interesting, we'll have two different sort of... Um, maybe thoughts on it because I think when you see something like this as a child I can't even imagine how it impacts you and we'll talk a little bit about that um, as we go along one of the things that really struck me about this film as an adult the first time and as an adult watching it now is that Rankin and Bass um, who made this Arthur Rankin and Jules Bass whose names we just saw in the credits um, they did a lot of Christmas specials you know for children and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer being their most famous but something that they did in a lot of their films was that they tackled some heavy issues. And so we're not going to talk a huge amount about the Christmas specials. They're pretty well known. Um, you've probably seen all of them. Um, but their movie, like their specials like Nestled Along Your Donkey, for example, is something that really deals with death in a really realistic manner. And, um, and they let kids watch these things and process these emotions we have. And so I really feel like Bermuda Depp's here, this film, really, really... Uh, dives into that in a way that I think kids it's appealing to kids the film because it's got the storybook like quality like here actually the first few minutes of this film there's no dialogue at all and so it's kind of fascinating um, it's also Rankin and Bass continuing to not underestimate a child's ability to watch something like this and it looks mm -hmm. like a storybook and um, I